Welcome to the next video of Triple Chris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Chris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is separation, transformation, glorification. The remnant army of kings and priests. Why is it so important, brothers and sisters, to separate ourselves from the world, Babylon and the churches? Why is it to come out of the old ways and to enter the new? It is so important because the Lord said in Leviticus 20, verse 26, You shall be holy to me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have separated you from the peoples that you should be mine. But we also know that soon now the improper king of this world will set up his kingdom with ten kings, the Antichrist. And what do we read about him? In Revelation 11 verse 2. Let us go there. Revelation 11 verse 2. But the court, and this is the outer court of the tabernacle, the tabernacle was set up into design of the kingdom of heaven. But the court, the outer court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they trample underfoot forty and two months. Forty two months when the Antichrist will take full power and when he will come against the temple and then when he will rule the whole outer court the outer court the outer court is not this one of the unbelievers brothers and sisters the outer court was part of the tabernacle was part of the believers it's part of the kingdom of heaven so these are the churches, the ones that were called, that are called to repentance in the outer court was sacrificed, in the outer court was washing of their feet and, and hands and everything to prepare themselves. That was the outer court. But the Lord says in Revelation 11.2 that the outer court will be given over to the Gentiles, to the Antichrist, to the world. So do not measure it but measure only the temple. And what was the temple within the tabernacles? It was the holy place and the holy of holies. But who was serving in the holy, in the holy place? Was there every believer, every Jew at this time, was he entering the holy place? No, only a remnant, a remnant of priests were serving in the holy place. And only one high priest were going to the holy of holies to stand before the Ark of the Covenant, to stand before the throne of God. So therefore, brothers and sisters, separate yourself for the Lord. Become a priest and a king, as it is written in Revelation 1. And he has made us kings and priests to serve him and the kingdom, and to serve the Father as never before. We will be service servicing the king and everybody in the temple you are called for greatness brothers and sisters but you need to separate yourself only when you separate yourself from the masses from the outer court and you enter the temple you enter the holy place you are ready to serve as Jesus has served only then brothers and sisters you will be called into transformation only then you will be lifted up into the clouds and receive your transformation into a new body. And then, when you have received this transformation, then you will be able to walk as kings and priests here on earth. It is written in Revelation 1. But you need to separate yourself from the world, from Babylon and the churches. Because the churches are representing the outer court. And they have gone astray. And they have not fulfilled their destiny. 
And now it's a time that the Lord will raise a standard, a banner against the evil flood. And this will be a remnant. A remnant is chosen to serve the Lord in the holy place. As Jesus was serving the Lord in the holy place in his first ministry. They will walk as the image of Jesus. And because it's the second coming, they will work in the power as kings and priests. Because they will receive the first dominion, Micah 4, 8. This they will receive through the transformation, the Christmas day in November. They will receive it through the, the mantle that they will be bestowed on them and the spirit that they will receive. The spirit of Solomon, of John the Baptist, of John the Revelator, of Elijah, Moses and David. It's all about the kingdom right now. It is all about the Lord coming as kings of king, as king of kings and lord of lords. It's about the kingdom. And these groups that have separated themselves and will be then be transformed into the glory and the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, walking as kings and priests here on earth, will bring in the harvest and will proclaim that the kingdom has come. And they will be guided by the Father's voice wherever they have to go to, to seek the lost sheep, to proclaim the kingdom and to guide the people on that narrow path that will lead to the holy mountain to Mount Zion and there they will be raptured into paradise at the sixth seal. That will be then the time of their glorification because when they will be raptured into paradise they will then receive a complete new body and they will have eternal life and will stay with the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Mount Zion is your destination and Mount Zion is your time for glorification. A few of you will then be sealed before that as 144,000 to continue the path as bond servants for the Father. But the majority who will stand at the base of Mount Zion, the multitude clothed in white, with palm branches in their hands, will then receive Jesus when he comes down from the mountain and they will receive their glorification at that time. But before that, you will do your final task to be the forerunner of Jesus. You will prepare the way of our Lord and Savior's second coming. You will walk as kings and priests here on earth, but you need to separate yourself from the masses, from the world, Babylon and the churches, because the outer court is given to the Antichrist. And he will do with it whatever he pleases. But we will stand in the temple. We will establish the holy places in the nations. When we move through all the nations and cities, we will establish new assemblies of the kingdom of heaven through our work as kings and priests here on earth. Stand with us together. Now it's the time to be part of the remnant army of kings and priests that the Lord will transform for such a time as this. Seek the kingdom first and then everything will be given to you. This ministry here is not about the glory of one person. We are all the same here and we are all humble before the Lord. There is nothing that you can judge us about. We only seek the kingdom and the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit to prepare the way for our Lord as a voice in the wilderness to proclaim that the kingdom has come and to show you a way how you can reach Mount Zion where you will be raptured into paradise. Serve the kingdom. Serve the kingdom now and serve the Father as never before. Separate yourself. The Lord is calling you out of the peoples because you will be His. The outer court, remember that the outer court will be given to the Gentiles and the Antichrist. Do not stand at that time because then you have only the option either to get beheaded or to den denounce your face and that will bring you into the lake of fire. But there is another way. There is a way in the spirit of John the Revelator, when, the, when Jesus told Peter, what will it be to you when this man will be alive until I will come back? 
This and the group that will be alive, that will be the harvest workers, that will be the forerunners, the preparer of the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's second coming. And they will stand alive at the base of Mount Zion. There they will be raptured into paradise. Get an understanding, brothers and sisters. Pray over it. Seek the Lord about it. And stand with us together in the temple. Come out of the outer court. Because the outer court will not be measured anymore in the book of Revelation, in the end times. The Lord is coming, and he is coming very soon, to lift up his separated people, to be transformed into their destiny and purpose here on earth, to be the remnant army of kings and priests. Be part of it. Join us now. Stay with us together. The Lord is bringing right now a new place into being. A place that will be called the gathering. The gathering of his 72 plus harvest workers, where he will give them his instruction, but only to the chosen ones, only to the ones who have separated themselves from the world Babylon and the churches. These messages that the Lord will bring forth will not be published on this channel or on any other channel or on YouTube or on any other place. It will only be given to the people who will be part of that new place called the gathering. I will make a second video about this today so that you get a deeper understanding. The Lord is now getting his people together and he's telling you that he will position you right now separate yourself the door is still not yet closed 32 days left walk with us that path the narrow and righteous path towards the holy mountain towards mount zion your destiny and your purpose was shown to you through the revelation of our lord and savior jesus christ watch the playlist watch the videos over the last one month to see what the Lord is telling you, to come out now and to stand together in love, unity and support. The time of your destiny has come. The time of Jesus to come for his 40 days has arrived. We will meet him in the cloud and we will be transformed to serve the kingdom and to stand in the temple as kings and priests. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranat.